<laughs> hey guys, boy, yeah, I, I was on the, making videos yesterday, and um, boy, I feel I feel like see, something happened to me last night when I went to bed. I feel like I just turned like 180 degrees from the videos that I was posting uh, feverishly for the past seven days. And I, I have to really analyze what's going on in my head. You know, I was um, I'm studying yesterday on my computer. I'm studying for an exam that's coming up next Monday. And as I was studying, I had um, a video playing in the background. And so I'm listening to it, and I'm doing my studying. And the speaker that I was listening to, his name is Dr. Umar Johnson. I think he's a dynamic speaker. He's um, a Pan-Africanist, and um, he wants to promote a school here in the U.S. And I was all gun ho um, wanted to back him and everything, you know, financially if I could. And um, it just, I don't know, it just something just clicked to me yesterday night as I was studying and listening to him in the background. And the word, um, the words, you know, one size doesn't fit all came to my mind. And I even wrote it down. That's what I'm looking at now, uh, my pad and, and my pen. And I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. And um, it, it just stuck in my mind. Even though, you know, what he was saying in that video when that came to my mind, he said, um, I mean, he, he, I believe in what he was saying, but it really got me thinking. He was saying that um, people in the uh, black community are being bombarded by messages and, you know, information, um, an information overload. And I started thinking, um, you know, I have been <laughs> overloaded with all this information. And um, what could you do with this information? And uh, Dr. Uman further said that that this information, you know, is presented to us. And, and again, not just, you know, black, but all, you know, all types of communities. And um, it's get you overloaded and um, ineffective and distracted. That's the key word, distracted. And I definitely have been distracted. I should be studying more. I have an, an exam, a big exam that I, I need to pass uh, for my licensing. And, um, but the, you know, even though I heard him say something like this in the past, but as I was studying and just had, having the words in the background going on, you know, what he's saying, it became, it came, you know, at home in my head. And um, I, I see that, you know, yes, um, it is to distract you. It's like swatting flies, you know, you, you can't just, you know, let's say you're in the tropics or something and, and you have all these flies. After a while, it, it just wears you out. You're just hitting those flies, and um, it's wearing you out. And you, your problem still exists. You, you're surrounded by flies, but sometimes you just have to walk away. You, you know, go in a different environment. You know, and um, so that you don't have to swap them anymore. And um, I said, well, what does what does that? Um, what he said, and the one size doesn't fit all, and the, you know, the information overload. What does that have to do with my video? Well, for those people who have been looking at my um, my channel, um, have have been seeing that there's a lot of um, information. The, the last few videos I did um, was about um, race identity and um, you know, loving yourself. And I had, a, a, um, I think, two people who commented on the videos. I was surprised at how fast that um, they had responded to the video. 
the video I did was actually a commentary on a video that a uh, Hispanic woman wrote, I mean, did on um, people from the Dominican Republic that state that the black people don't, you know, don't really like themselves. I forget the, the actual name of the video. But the comments was, I thought was very in interesting. They, they, uh, the people who commented, they were very concerned, uh, angry, and they said, you know, you know, you people from the U.S., um, you, you impose your your thoughts and your beliefs, and uh, you know, leave us alone. We don't we don't like you Americans. And I thought about it. You know, I, I did respond to them, and I, I wrote back, and um, but it's, I started thinking. I said, you know, they have a point. And the same thing that I guess how I was coming across in the video was the same way that people in my past um, imposed their attitudes about race upon me. And, um, you know, it's, it really isn't fair. And why is it it's not fair? Like, um, like the, the people that were having this for the Black Consciousness Movement. I contacted them. I um, think I emailed twice, um, even phoned, and I was trying to get in contact with the organization, but I never got a response back from them. And it started to have me think, I said, well, what is, what, what is this movement actually about? Are they there really to liberate uh, Blacks and all non-whites in the Americas, or are they there to promote books, videos, um, and just, you know, cause agitation, um, and, and just, you know, people just want to live, but they put this out there, and you feel like guilty if you're not on their bandwagon, um, if you're not um, agreeing with them. You know, oh, you're not a good person if you don't believe what, what we believe, and you know, if you don't contribute to the struggle, you know, you know, you're not a good person. And I said, you know, and I thought back, so you know, I used to be in the military, and I did, um, um, you know, spoke out against things that I saw that was not right in the military, that was um, done deliberate against. Um, non-white in the military. There's a lot of things that I was um, experiencing. And I thought I was doing a good thing and speaking out and, you know, fighting um, fighting for justice. And um, none of the blacks helped me. I was out there on my own. And um, I said, wow, here I'm not, you know, um, here I'm, a, I'm a Caribbean person. <laughs> my ancestry is not from the South. And yeah, even though I did this in my love for them and want to make the U.S. a better place for all races, I wasn't supported by them. And uh, I just kept a mental note of that. And then, um, you know, a year ago, I, I was being introduced to um, the Black Consciousness Movement um, from a radio station that I've, I've been listening to for about a year. And... Um, and then it came up to its apex, you know, yesterday morning, and um, I don't know, it, it, it just, so it, it's like at a standstill now. And I'm thinking, I think that the people who, who commented on the, the, the video, my last videos, really started, you know, having me think. You know, you have someone from a different place. I, I don't know whether they're actually living here in the U.S. or maybe their ancestry is from um, Latin America. Um, but you know, we we not you know one size doesn't fit all, and um, all of us have to carry all of us have to carry themselves. You know, meaning that you know when I walk down the street, I walk I walk alone. Or, and you walk alone, and, and people are going to come up with their own expectations of you and want to impose or 
to one or two things that's not in your benefit. benefit. And uh, that's all of us. And it's not just one group. You know, you have, you have husband and wives <laughs> fighting each other and trying to impose. You know, and, and that's just how the world is. You know, it's one, one battle after another. There's internal battles within us as individuals, and then there's battles out there in the world. And it, 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 it's on all levels. And, um, you know, you, 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 it's just something that, um, and it's not speaking, you know, it's not there. And, um, you know, so I apologize. Um, if, you know, in, in, in my, my imposition, um, but I do believe, you know, we all have to respect one another. And I feel that even with some of the videos that I was uh, watching, is, you know, from all, you know, you, you have to stay with your own kind and, uh, I started thinking, I said, if, um, I can't, I can't, I can't really support that. Um, I mean, I know my background, I have, you know, pictures of my ancestors and the all different types of people. And, uh, different nations, different islands, um, different races. And, uh, for me to promote that, I, I would be a hypocrite. And, uh, you know, when I, when I go out there in the street, and you know, just walk around and you know, I have my dogs and I just walk around. I see all different types of people. And uh everybody's just trying to survive and uh I think most people want um to be happy in life and uh um not everything is a motive, you know. And I started feeling that, you know, before this that everything it started making me feel that everything is a motive. You know, we're all, we're all in the matrix. Even those people who think that they're not, we're all in some type of matrix. Um, so we just have to do the best that we can. I, I, I can't know everything. I, I, you know, even the scriptures say, you know, that, you know, more, more studying just makes the soul, um, weary. You know, you, you know, too much of anything is not good. You know, too much studying in your, in your, uh, avoid your physical health and, and uh, intersocial uh, relationships. You know, it's a, you know, you, you have to blend everything together. And um, that's what's going on in my mind. Um, and I feel that maybe it was pulling me in the wrong direction. Um, I had the right motive, I think, the right heart behind it. You know, my intention. But you know, where was it? Where is it going to take me? Is it going to take me to be a happier person? You know, uh, sometimes you feel like you have an order of enlightenment. enlightenment. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> my voice is going again. You know, all this enlightenment. But, you know, I'm happier for it. I, I don't want to walk around alone and feeling alone. I have all this knowledge and this and that, and you can't relate to your neighbor. You know? So I'm just, I guess I'm saying that it has to be a balance. And um, even in research, you know, you have to have a balance. And um, you have to look at, you know, even these, um, these speakers who, who are, you know, socially conscious, you know, we're, 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 what are their motives? You know, um, what, what are they all, all about? Are they being paid to do this? you know, have this movement and, and to collect people to think certain things or to, um, pay, you know, have us pay for these videos and books. You know, if, even earlier this year, I think, yeah, it was in December, <clears throat> I bought these, it was a, a Bible, a very big Bible. Um, it was um, written by um, people from the Hebrew Israelite movement. The person who wrote the book, the Bible, he's actually stationed, I think, in Britain. And he does have headquarters here, you know, a representative here in the States. And um, I started looking through the, the book and from the other literature of, you know, um, about um, the Hebrew Israelites. 
thing because I was curious what, what that was all about. And um, the, it, it had it it had left a, a nasty taste taste in my mouth. Um, I didn't know that they were promoting um, polygamy and um, just other things. I started wondering, hey, what are you you know what are we really all about? A lot of the you know the, the black literature books that I had gotten for my birthday in December. I, I started to look through some of them. I can't even, you know, I, I just have to put it down. Because I, I started looking at them and said, this isn't sitting right with me. You know, just the information. It was poorly written. And um, I was having second thoughts about everything, about about all this. And uh, even though I'm not in that, the Hebrew Israelite movement, but I was curious what they were all about. And I guess, you know, I wanted to know where they, you know, if, if, if there was any truth in what they had to say. And <clears throat> with yesterday evening, listening to uh, Dr. Umar, um, you know, he, he, he hit it on the head. And I don't think he meant for me to to feel this way. That was, you know, he, he said the truth. All this information is just to distract you. And with that distraction, that's when they have control over you and they do what they intend to do to you. And that may not be for your benefit, you know, it may not be in your best interest, I'm just saying. So, um, I know this sound, it's, it sounds like a complete 180 degree. Um, again, I'm on a, on a, spiritual quest of enlightenment in understanding and also to to learn how to navigate in the society that I live in. It's constantly changing. You know, tomorrow might be something else. You know, but each time I have to learn how to navigate in it and that no one has all the answers and um, we're all in the same boat. <laughs> so um that's, that's basically all that I have to say. But thank you again, and um, you know, w wish me luck on the exam. And uh, anybody that I offended, you know, over the YouTube, um, uh, please accept my apology. That this is a request that we all have to go through. So let me know what your comments are, and um, you know what your thoughts are, and um, you know, let's let's. Well, keep on keeping on, and um, you know, one size doesn't fit all, and um, I can't, you know, we have to stop labeling each other. We, we all live on our own individual skin, and we all have our own heritage, and no one, you know, whether it be in the U.S. or Europe, should, should impose um, their concept of, of race or religion on one another. So, peace. And enjoy. Take care.